fountain of life. A collection of live recorded sermons from His Grace Bishop Emilianos Maloa aiming to make us fountains of the Holy Spirit. Here is today's message. Today's reading from the Holy Gospel told us, He who enters by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. Truly, truly, I say to you, I am the door of the sheep. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved and will go in and out and find pasture. What does this mean and how could this be somehow related to St. Constantine? Also, why do we read this part of the gospel both today and when we celebrate the three hierarchs? St. Constantine was an emperor. He was not a bishop. So the one who enters the sheepfold by the door is the shepherd. The sheepfold where the sheep are safe from wolves symbolizes the kingdom of heaven. But further down, we face a paradox. The good shepherd, our Lord Jesus Christ, is entering through the door and his sheep, the faithful, are following him. They go into the kingdom of heaven by going out of this material life. But right after the, ghost, the good shepherd is also described as being this very door of the kingdom of heaven. He says, I am the door. In this illogical symbolization lays the mystery of the spiritual fatherhood. A spiritual father, an elder, a bishop, walks ahead of his flock, and his sheep follow him. In case he misses the entry of the kingdom of heaven and does not make it himself inside, what will happen to, to his little sheep? They will remain outside in danger and insecurity. Now let's add one more thought there. Our Lord is also the door through which the sheep go from perishability to eternity. This door, every spiritual father or leader, might be small or large, rich and beautiful or plain and simple, might be made out of all sorts of materials. None of these external elements matters. What matters for this specific door is to be open. Otherwise, the sheep will again stay outside open door here is the character who does not attempt to be the point of focus of the sheep, but strives to get them to know Christ and his kingdom. We would say that an open door looks empty, but then, and then only, it fulfills its role as a door. If it doesn't possess the quality of self-emptiness, it is no different to a wall, no different to a giant brick. Twelve days ago, our elder, Emilianos of Simonopetra, passed away. A lot has been and will be said about our elder. I would only like to share with you today one thing. Our elder spent all his life trying to make his God one with his children, exactly like the door which brings together two different spaces. He wide opened his arms, his soul, his spirit, and his whole existence so that whoever was to stay near him to have the chance to enter the kingdom of heavens with a small step and little effort. Staying obedient to Elder Milianos meant that you were already one step inside the wide open gate of heavens who he himself became. So why is our church reading this part of the gospel today? Because St. Constantine fulfilled everything we just mentioned. As a good shepherd, he led all the citizens of his empire to Christianity, to the kingdom of heaven, and as an emperor, 
he used all the power God gave him to establish the Christian faith. He became the door through which the people of of Byzantium and us, their descendants, go through the earth to heaven. He was not just a door, but a wide open gate to the will of the true God, an unshakable gate to both idolatry and human power's effects. By emptying himself, he did not just open the way of salvation, but he opened the door of the kingdom of heaven to flood the earth. He was just one person, and he changed the direction of the human history. I will not say much more. I will only state the obvious. All our our all-merciful God gives us every necessary tool to enter the kingdom of heaven. So how about if starting from today, we open our heart to Christ, our Lord and God, and we ask him to secure us inside his sheepfold. Each one of us, as soon as we unite with Christ, we become the door which can save others. We might not change the history of the humankind, but we could change the history of our family, of our beloved people, and of our immediate environment. Even if we just manage to change our own history, we will glorify God, and at the same time, we will be eternally glorified with Him. It is indeed worth it to empty ourselves and open wide open our heart.